I'm just kind of a better person when I wrestle because it's like kind of, it's who I am. So like when I don't do it, I'm just not the same. After an eight year break, Ben is back on the mat and feeling more passion for the sport than ever before. My brother's probably the toughest guy I know, so it's good to have him around. He's been a national champ since grade 10. It's pretty humbling. I get beat up all the time, so it's great. Usually when I wrestle with people, I, I, break, I break them pretty bad, uh, but my brother's really tough, so he can, he can uh, push back, which I kind of need. It's pretty rare to find someone who's actually that tough who wants to fight. Uh, it's not that common, so. These brothers have been wrestling their entire lives. And now they're getting ready to head to Calgary this fall for their first national competition together. I just get excited because I've been working hard and I think when I'm there and I've done everything I can do to be ready, why worry? The duo is the latest addition to Team Brink. It helps out a lot because, you know, we both have families, uh, so we got, you know, we got lots of bills. So being able to go out to the tournament and not stress too much about the financial aspect, really, it, it, it helps with the stress of it because now we can just worry about training, we don't need to worry about, okay, well, how are we going to afford to do this? Because you know, we got help, so. We can all learn from these brothers who are turning goals into reality. And that's for young people and people that aspire to becoming something. You don't have to be a national level, but at least aspire to your dreams, follow your dreams, and then pursue them, you know, and, and stay the course. And then the sky's the limit.